Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we will take our first look into Fedora 37. So I have the Fedora 37 in my desk right now. So let me go to this configuration. Then we will try to see uh, what we could like insert into our Fedora. Okay. So let me. So I have Fedora right here. Choose. Let's start. Full screen. So I have given this virtual box about eight gigabytes of memory or random access memory to access this Fedora 37 workspace and we are now in our virtual box so let's just click try uh, we'll try to install this maybe in the next few days from now uh, in our hard where and of course I'm now in the, our virtual uh, box and let's try to see what is Fedora 37 workspace can do for us so as you can see it is a genome desktop environment and we have right here in the upper corner panel we have the battery and the sound together with our internet or the network balance performance dark mode and the light night and of course we also have this panel we have the power the lock and the settings and the screenshot plus the battery in percentage so let's try to click this one yeah okay so we have the selected type of screenshot so we could like screenshot like this one and then and it captured let's show so there you have it that's our screenshot it comes with it no need to download how about the full screen let's try to see yes and let's try to see if we could windows so there you have it only the windows try to open yes there you have it so is it is performing very clear and precise no problem with it so how about when we are trying to navigate so let's click the activity because we don't see any uh, start menu but we can see right here there is an activity this is the original uh, no genome uh, desktop environment that you need to click the activity so that you could like shift from one desktop to another desktop like desktop one and right here desktop two and of course we have the start menu to or the show application or we could say sometimes say it's our start menu so we have the contacts, weather, Fedora writer, uh, clock. Um, we also have the maps, LibreOffice Calc, and the LibreOffice Suit, uh, the writer, and the, where is, okay, the impress right here. And we also have the video player, the calculator, document scanner, settings, the system uh, monitor boxes genome boxes we also have the terminal and the utilities right here a separate folder we have the rhythm box for the media player help of course if you want to download and install some software so go to their software center cheese is also here if you use the webcam as your camera and just click and of course you have the text editor and the tour down here we have let me close that one down here we have the install to drive 
which is this only uh, appear if you are looking uh, if you are installing the Fedora uh, OS in your hard disk and you're in the trial mode if you click this one it will open a installation application I think it is Camularis mm, uh, let's try later okay and of course we also have the file the photos the counter and the Firefox web browser so let's try to see what we could find right here so the system settings or I mean the system resources as you can see it is performing quite well like how many only I gave only a single core so it performs really really uh, it's basically a single core with performing well well uh, in Linux you can always use a w single uh, uh, CPU to drive your operating system and a swap like 8 gigabytes swap it's okay already if you have the 8 gigabytes of random accesses memory as the physical memory plus uh, if you notice right here it is spiking which is uh, just telling the internet that I'm listening and I'm sending a ping and then it responses right here same with this so it's not really like giving a lot of data it's just only a ping so yep this is Linux very 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 lightweight at the same time it's flexible and it is of course this is a monolithic type of kernel so which means it is not bypassing all the security measure which is if you are in the hybrid type of kernel which is the windows and same time a little bit of of mac os they using the hybrid type of kernel which is bypassing some of the security features that is uh, listening to you and they are actually spying on you that is why we they have the in microsoft they have the cortana so trying to know your keystrokes try to know your uh, search uh, searches your search page searches your visited website so that's the uh, the difference between the monolithic and the uh, hybrid type of kernel which is the most of them are in the proprietary uh, software or proprietary uh, operating system but here in Linux we are in the monolithic so it is basically no bypass no bypassing the security system of the kernel the OS is interacting only through the kernel then to the hardware so it is really secure now no one is trying to listen to you trying to know what you are doing with their software so let's try to see what we could find right here so we have the calc which is the LibreOffice calc the LibreOffice calc is actually the uh, spreadsheets uh, for example we have Blair so Blair has uh, 20 and for example 15 plus like 16 something like that so we could like oh uh oh oh I, would, I didn't plan to do that <laughs> so for example that one so what you can do is to put some formula right here so so let's try to see if how much is this one let's go to the sum of this uh formula that we have 
so let's try to sum up I think it's already okay okay there you have it <laughs> for example that is our formula so that is our uh, LibriCalc our spreadsheet so let's uh, close this one don't save and let's go to the activity again and try to open the impress so the impress is the libri a version of the powerpoint presentation or the presentation slideshow as you can see it gives you the opening as the templates right here so that you can uh, start as soon as possible and that is their uh, template just the same with your PowerPoint presentation in your Microsoft Office so let's try to close that one and then let's go to the next Libri Office Writer this one is our document so for example dear dear friend I am writing this letter to you and blah 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 blah, blah thing. So that is the library writer. And of course, if you want to save just like your uh, Microsoft Office go to the save as or save save as for your file and then it will go to your document folder the difference between Microsoft and Linux and Mac OS is that in Mac OS and in Linux we don't use a drive for our hard disk is just drive like this one your drive as drive uh, without any letters because we are using uh, different uh, categories right here just like your Mac OS so we are just using the folder for example let's save it on the document folder right there and then test and then save it you can go down here to check out the different type of file uh, format like the open uh, document uh, text the open text document templates and of course there is also word right here uh, docuX and doc and dot and html also the text the tick uh, rich text right here and so on so that is how easy to use our libri office let's close this one i don't want to save it because i'm in the live environment the only using virtual machine or virtual box so let's try to see how about if we try to install uh, if we already done with our testing in the live environment what if we try to install it on our hard disk drive so this is what you can uh, met with if you are trying to install of course if you are trying to install please look into the ty different types of selection of language right here i will use the english uh, philippine english i could use that one because i'm a filipino and of course hiligaynon yes hiligaynon uh, i'll use the, the hiligaynon as my main language uh, uh, we could always talk into our uh, local language like 
uh, kung nabalaan mo lang kung ano ang aton ng mga langguahe nga uh, pwede may istorya no uh, we could o- i could also use uh, different types of filipino but i think only hiligaynon is right here <laughs> okay <laughs> okay i'm i'm good with hiligaynon because i'm ilongo so yeah hiligaynon will be great for me uh let me see the destination of course i only provide like 25 gigabytes right here and the time and date will be in bangkok oh again let's do it again maybe it doesn't configure ah there it is so yeah I, how i wish uh, we, we could have like tagalog right here so that our fellow filipinos other filipino language could understand what we are saying like if in tagalog uh alam naman kung mag ano kung mag kaano magkaiba ang mga lengguwahe sa Pilipino that's in Tagalog but if i'm using the Hiligaynon uh, let me see balaan mo naman kung ano mga iban ng mga lengguwahe no sa aton ng mga Pilipino sa dra so you could always uh, change your language how about uh, si Bueno good oy hindi ko sulti sa mo sabot good <laughs> okay I have so many language uh, I've been hiding for a couple of years already. I've been trying to 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 learn more of the language and especially not only right here in Isan but also in in Pasa Thai, Pasa Isan. Uh, of course, I'm Pasangkrit. Um, I'm English. Uh, I'm using English actually. Uh, how about in Indonesia? Uh, salam alaikum. Uh, salamat pagi. Uh, okay. And of course, I could speak also in uh, Japanese. Let me see. Ohayo gozaimas. Watashi no ebleri des. Sansei. Des. Oh, oh my gosh. My, my uh, Nihongo is a little bit like rusty already. How many years already I haven't speak uh, any Japanese or Nihongo? Oh, oh, oh well. <laughs> so my friends, I haven't uh, s- s- uh, talked to anybody, but except like only in English. How about Spanish? I think, oh no, I don't have any Spanish friends right now and this year. So, yep. So sad. So let's begin installation. And of course, uh, let me talk about uh, different soul languages right here. So yeah, as you can see, it is booting in the dev SDA1, which is instead of the drive A, drive C. Uh, in Linux, we use the SDA, SDB or drive a drive b like that one so drive a will be the main that is the sda a sda one partition one or p1 uh, p2 p3 blah 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 which is the partition but if you are using the sdb which means you have another sd or the solid drive a uh, solid state drive B. So that's the difference between the Linux. Uh, I think it is the same with Microsoft. No, no, with Mac OS. It is the same with Mac OS because Mac OS is actually uh, a branch of Unix and Linux at the same time. It's also a branch. Uh, it has a different branches at the time like we have also the Solaris uh, Sun OS and let me see uh, I forgot some of the software uh, operating system but it's basically so many uh, especially when uh, during 1970s 80s and 90s 
when we have different operating system I remember that the BSD the Berkeley software distribution has a legal battle between oh no the legal battle between the BSD the Berkeley uh, software distribution has a lawsuit from the Unix and they stopped for I think two years they halted all their operation all their development for two years that's long for a software to just halt it and of course Linux Turbo at the same time um, just created the kernel uh, Linux because his name is Linux but first name of the Linux was oh my gosh I forgot all those, those stuff <laughs> So, uh, please comment down below if you know this uh, this OS. Maybe I could like feature that one explaining uh, on how this uh, OS works before the uh, Apple and the Microsoft born and at the same time Linux. Maybe I could like uh, check on that one and create a a uh a episode on the operating system of course if i have some errors along the way please correct me i'm not perfect in any ways because i'm a human not a robot or an ai yes i'm not an ai you can see me uh through my videos other videos but in this particular uh, operating system sometimes I don't use a camera for in fact because uh, it is uh, it's just only the the desktop that I'm being showing and explaining if I have the video uh, explaining maybe it will have some confusion at least it's still just a video explain on how to uh, install and first look onto this uh, type of of operating system that is why we have the operating system either it is going to be the first look or maybe some modification or maybe explaining on what kind of os uh, do we have so maybe in the next few days i will give you another os but i think it is explaining on os working with different types of os how kernel interact with the os and os is interacting with the kernel so monolithic and hybrid and micro hybrid I think they they have the micro hybrid at the same time because hybrid is bypassing all of those stuff the security system that is why uh, they uh, insist that uh, the trust of Microsoft added mm, because they wanted to to trust them to spy on you <laughs> oh my gosh what I am saying this uh, on air so yep we have different types of OS to be uh, exploring in the next few days and yes it might be I'm in different location at that time even I'm in different location I'll still upload some videos and probably I'll introduce to you also some of the uh, travels that I have let me see how many minutes do we have let's I think let's speed up this one
So it's already done, finished, and let's try to finish this installation by clicking the finish installation button. So that's it for our Fedora 37 workstation installation and first look. I hope you enjoy our video today and I'll be back for more videos to come and some vlogs, travel, application and many more. I'm Blair for your OS operating system Fedora 37 workstation. Hmm. By the way, what kind of workstation do we have? I haven't shared this to you. I already opened this, but I haven't checked. Yeah, I am inside the virtual box. Of course, the 11th generation i5. And the disk space is just only 25 gigabytes. And I'm running into the Wayland windowing system and the genome version is 43 yep that's it for now for our OS I'm Blair saying bye for now and catch another episode of OS operating system and remember that science means knowing because science is cool. Ciao!